So in this one, I'm going to solve this quadratic with um, the quadratic formula, and I'm going to um, notice that, and sorry, notice in my exponents, I've got negative 4 and negative 2. The same thing that I'm about to do applies to problems that we were doing yesterday, where we had like x to the 2 fifths and x to the 1 fifth. It's the exact same procedure, this whole um, concept of substituting something in. So if you can follow one, you can do the other. So I'm going to let u, I'm just going to pick a random letter u, and let that equal x to the negative 2. It's basically always going to be x to whatever power is here in my middle term. So if I had 1 fifth, it would be x to the 1 fifth. So I'm going to use this substitution. And if I rewrite this now, can you see that I'm going to get 5u squared? because negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4, and negative 7, u minus 6 equals 0. So when I do the whole quadratic formula, I'm going to assume that you know how to do that, I'm going to end up getting 7 plus or minus square root of 169 over 10. And then when I simplify that, square root of 169 is 13, so I have 7 plus or minus 13 over 10. So now I have to go in two different directions, remember. So if I go 7 plus 13, I'm going to get 20 over 10. And if I go 7 minus 13, don't I get negative 6 over 10? So I can simplify each of those. Here I just get 2, and here I get negative 3 fifths. So basically, we've used the quadratic formula to solve for u. But I want to know what x squared is. So each of these are basically, we solved for u. They are u. Using the quadratic formula, you solve for the variable. So now I'm going to resubstitute back in. So if I resubstitute back in, now I get um, 2 is going to equal x to the negative 2 power. And I also get negative 3 fifths equals x to the negative 2 power. Because instead of u, I'm going to plug back in the negative 2, x to the negative 2. Okay, so do I really care what x to the negative 2 is? No. I, at the end of the day, I want to know what x to the 1 power is, or just x. That's what I'm looking for. So how do I turn x to the negative 2 into a positive 1? And the same theory works for fractions. So, um, so what do I have to multiply by? Because remember, when you raise a power to a power, um, you, get, um, you have to multiply them. So don't I want to raise this then to the negative one-half power, so think about that, negative two times negative a half, negative times negative is positive, and two times a half is positive one, so that's what I want. But what I do to that side, I have to do to this side, so negative one-half power. So this was a really ugly problem I happen to give you. Um, you are not going to be tested on something as difficult as this, so for now I'm going to let you say that this is the final answer. But for you smarty pants in the class, um, if you know, if you figure out that this is really going to be 1 over the square root of x, and then you rationalize your denominator, you end up getting root 2 over 2 in proper form. So that technically is the answer. Um, you're not going to be asked to simplify something as difficult like this on the test, so I don't want to go into that right now. Okay, this one is even going to get uglier. So again, I want to raise this to the, sorry, and this is going to be a separate one. I'm going to raise this to the negative one-half power. You do need to know that. You do need to be able to figure out what, I'm what power you're raising it to. So now I have x equals negative three-fifths to the negative one-half power. Again, I am not going to ask you to simplify something as ugly as that, nor do I want decimal answers. So... For those of you that um, want to try a little extra challenge, um, if you simplify this, you're going to have to put this in the denominator and take an i out, and it does simplify to i root 15 all over 3. So that is the final answer if you were doing it in proper form. Again, um, when we go to test you guys, you're, only go you're going to see much uh, simpler things to simplify, so I really don't want to get into that right now. Just know that that's how you have to raise it back, okay?